I started my professional career as a geographer, but also with an interest in environmental science. And today I'd call myself an environmental scientist. Uh, if I wanted to be very specific, my professional specialism is in hydrology, the science of, uh, the science of water. Uh, but I'm interested in, in environmental uh, issues and environmental challenges much more widely because water is so much a part of every environmental system locally and globally. Um, I also do, as people who've listened to previous lectures may know, I also do occasional bits of work as a forensic hydrologist, uh, tracking dead bodies for the police and if, as they move as they float through rivers and canals, and people who are interested in that can find a previous Gresham lecture on that theme. I'm not really sure why I became an environmental scientist. I, I've always been a very curious person with an interest in science and an, interested in my, and an interest in my surroundings. I was very privileged in my university education at University College London to be taken on a number of field classes, including one to the uh, northern edge of the Sahara Desert. And that really stimulated my interest in, in water and water science. And I went on to do research then. Um, but I've also been interested in the application rather than just the theory of the science, which, is, which has taken me into the realms of environmental technologies. So it's been, I have quite a, a career history, I suppose. I've always been convinced that what I was doing was important. The difficulty is persuading others. I started my professional career in the 1970s, and environmental science was very much a poor relation to those, those sciences of physics, chemistry, and biology. It's taking a long time for it to really reach the peak of acceptance by the funders and by the general public, probably, as being a science that sits alongside those traditional sciences. And I think it's great that Gresham has now recognized that that's where it should be. Um, so when did I realize it was important? Probably when I was a teenager. But when did the rest of the world realize it was important? I think that's a lot more recent. You might not know this about me, but in my spare time, I'm an amateur genealogist. I'm very interested in family history. It started because my mother told me that we were descended from an illegitimate son of Edward VII. And for the last four years, I've been looking into that. It doesn't look plausible. There are certain in indications that it might be true. Interestingly, some recent genetics as well. But it's taken me along a path which allows me to, to explore, and I am a curious person. So genealogy and environmental science are both really about curiosity. The other thing that, I, that people won't know about me is that I'm really a fan of the Carry On movies, if any of you have ever watched those from the 1950s onwards, um, funny films.